Hey guys, I am Rodney and welcome to Aretha Franklin's home. I'm so honored to be able to stage this property. It's for sale for $1.2 million. So I want to give you a brief tour just so that you can see how fabulous it is. What we did is we just staged a couple of rooms. It's not a lot of furniture, but we just wanted to give the clients a chance to see what it would look like if it were their home. So this is a great room, which I think is absolutely fabulous. And come a little closer. We got something here. This is actual Aretha Franklin's piano that she had. And I have to put a do not touch sign on here so when the people come, they won't touch it. And then we have an invitation here that was uh, a Christmas gala that she had. So we made sure that we wanted to put a little something personal here. Some of the things here are Aretha Franklin's. We did red pillows, just to accent the uh, piano that we have here. And then look too, even I thought it was pretty cool, the leaves here and the flowers that have a little red in it. So, you know, just a little, little coordinating, if you will. So, come on, let me take you into the kitchen. This is fabulous out here. This is the view of the uh, back of the house, of course, which is absolutely gorgeous. It would be wonderful to wake up to something like that. And here we have the kitchen. Let me turn some lights on in here so that you can see. This is a great open kitchen that is here. And Aretha, of course, did, I'm sure, many soul food dinners here, made some collard greens, that's one of her favorite things. So this is the kitchen area, which is great. I love this uh, refrigerator. Some of the appliances, well, all of them are original and were used by uh, Aretha Franklin. So cabinet space here, which is wonderful. I know that she loved uh, lemons, so we add a little touch of lemons in here. Come on, guys. This is storage. And then we have the dining room. The chandeliers, the chandeliers that she had had um, her other home down in the riverfront. So we bought that here and we put this here. Now this is a home that she lived in, but it had got kind of destroyed. It got damaged through uh, water issues that they had, but we restored it back and you can see how fabulous it is. And if you notice the paintings, the paintings are some of the local artists here in Detroit. They donated the paintings and, and then they have the price here for people that come through and if they're interested in purchasing some of the paintings. And then the, some of the uh, paintings and things are hers, so I can't tell you which one. And of course, we got a fabulous picture here of the queen, which is awesome. So let me take you to the bedroom. We have a library here, but we didn't really have to stage this, so we didn't. That made my job a lot easier. So here's the master bedroom right here. This is where the queen slept. Right here, this fabulous king-size bed here, and then you have a view of a uh, nice little deck here, and there's a view of the waterfall over here. You gotta see the waterfall that's over there. It's wonderful to wake up to something like that, and it's so quiet and peaceful and serene out there. This closet is amazing. It, it goes all the way down once you're in it, and shoes galore, boy, I could use something like that. So, and this is the bathroom here, which is beautiful. And I'm sure the queen came in here and used this to sit down, to get her hair together and her makeup. So, I love all the mirrors in here, guys. So, it's a standard bathroom, it has a lot of marble, as you can see, which is beautiful. It's marble here in the shower. One more space that we stay, it's not gonna take you. Come on, this is a big house. This is down in the lower level. We call it the lower level. You don't call it a basement when it's a $1.2 million home. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to stage this particular area just to give you an idea of what it would look like if you were entertaining down here. Excuse <coughs> me, which is beautiful. It's spacious. It goes all the way in the back. Down here is three rooms, along with the bathroom, along with the workout section, along with the hot sauna. So this is Rodney, you guys. I just wanted to give you a tour 
of the Queen of Souls home. This is another art piece here of a, a local artist. So let me take you back upstairs so we can get one more glance at the uh, great room. It's an amazing, beautiful home. I'm sure that they are not going to have a problem with selling this property. It's beautiful. I love the big grand piano. So this is Rodney Howe, you guys. I just wanted to share with you the home of the Queen of Soul right here in Detroit. And actually, this is in the suburbs of Detroit. It's in West Winfield. So till next time, this is Rodney. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome life.